Yes, via Instagram. So, what I wanted to talk to you guys about is God equips the cold. And I always love that from uh, God's character. He works totally... Um, he does the opposite of what the world does. So there is a scripture that says God uses the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. And isn't that great? Because there where people think they have figured God out, he will do the totally the opposite. So, what I love from him is um, David, for, <laughs> for example, thank you, thank you, Caribbean. For example, how he used a shepherd boy to be king. And nobody saw a king in David, but God looked at his heart. And the people of the world, they saw a king in Saul because he was big and he had muscles and he was handsome. And the people saw a king in him, but his heart was not on the right place. And David, he was just a shepherd boy. He had red hair, probably maybe some spruta. He was tiny, but God looked at his heart. And I always love how God will use the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. And uh, I was earlier just looking up about the scripture because um, people, um, they, uh, they mention, they say it a lot and it, it comes here up near, <laughs> it comes down to this. God equips the called. So when God calls you, you might think, oh, I'm not good enough. I don't have that talent. I don't have that skill. I cannot, <laughs> I cannot do that. But God knows your potential. God knows the talents and the gifts that he placed inside of you. And when God calls you, he knows that you are, a, you are already capable of doing that. And you, might don't, you may not even know how you're going to do it. But all you have to do is say yes to God. And when you say yes to God, he will equip you for the, uh, for the calling that he has called you to. And that is what I always loved about God. Because I always used to think, I always used to think, I'm not smart enough. I'm not wise enough. I'm not intelligent enough. And... God shows me that if you seek him first, he will give you the wisdom. He will give you the knowledge. He will give you the understanding. He will give you the revelations. And in the world that we're living in, people only put people on a platform or um, they only want to look at the people who are the strongest, who are the prettiest, who are the wisest. But God does, does not work like that. He looks at the heart. He looks at the heart of the people. And a beautiful example.